For years, the SR-72 was just a rumor, a whispered legend among pilots and engineers. But now, the United States Air Force has officially confirmed the SR-72 is real. This marks the end of years of secret development and the start of a new era in American air power. The announcement signals that the future of flight has arrived. The SR-72 isn't just another plane, it's a leap into the age of hypersonic warfare. Unlike its predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird, the SR-72 is unmanned, no pilot at risk. It can fly into the most dangerous airspace, gather intelligence and vanish before anyone knows it was there. This is a promise that American forces will have the best tools to stay ahead and stay safe. Building an aircraft that can travel over five times the speed of sound required new materials and revolutionary engines. The Air Force's confirmation means these challenges have been overcome. It's a testament to the brilliance of Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works engineers. The SR-72 isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolution in aerospace engineering. The legend has stepped out of the shadows. The era of hypersonic flight is no longer a dream, its story is only just beginning. The SR-71 Blackbird was a Cold War icon, but the SR-72 is designed to leave it behind. The SR-72 is a hypersonic unmanned aircraft, capable of flying over Mach 5, more than 3,800 miles per hour. At that speed, it could cross the Atlantic in under an hour, its primary mission intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance deep in enemy territory. But it's also designed to strike, carrying hypersonic weapons to hit targets anywhere in the world with almost no warning. Hypersonic speed changes everything, enemy defenses have only seconds to react. The SR-72 can penetrate the most heavily defended airspace and escape before anyone can respond. This is more than a successor to the Blackbird, it's the next step in air dominance. Speed is the ultimate stealth. In a world where threats emerge in minutes, not hours, the SR-72 ensures the US stays ahead. It's a game-changer for global security. The new era of flight is defined by speed, the SR-72 is leading the way. The SR-72's secret weapon is its engine, a turbine-based combined cycle or TBCC. This engine blends a traditional turbine for takeoff and subsonic flight with a scramjet for hypersonic speeds. The result? The SR-72 can take off from a runway, accelerate past Mach 5, and land again. The Blackbird's engines were advanced, but the SR-72's TBCC is a generational leap. Engineers had to solve immense challenges, combining two engine types, managing extreme heat, and ensuring seamless transitions. Successful ground tests proved the concept works. This technology isn't just for one plane, it could revolutionize future hypersonic vehicles, passenger jets, and even space planes. Imagine flying across the world in hours or reaching orbit from a runway. The SR-72 is the first to use this engine, but it won't be the last. The TBCC is the heart of the hypersonic revolution. It's powering the future of flight. The SR-72 is proof that science fiction is becoming reality. High-speed flight will never be the same. Global competition is fierce. Nations like China and Russia are racing to develop advanced air defenses and hypersonic weapons. The SR-72 is America's answer, maintaining a strategic edge. Its speed shrinks the globe, crossing continents in minutes, not hours. In a crisis, it can deliver real-time intelligence almost instantly, giving commanders the information they need to act fast. The SR-72 shortens the sensor-to-shooter timeline, making military responses nearly immediate. At Mach 5, it outruns modern air defenses, radars and missiles simply can't keep up. Its speed is its armor, allowing it to operate where other aircraft can't survive. Adversaries must rethink their defenses, knowing a hypersonic vehicle could appear at any moment. This uncertainty complicates enemy planning and deters aggression. The SR-72 isn't just a weapon, it's a tool for stability in a rapidly changing world. Investing in this technology shapes the future battlefield. The SR-72 is a key piece of America's strategic puzzle. Before the Air Force's announcement, millions saw the SR-72's fictional twin, the Dark Star, in Top Gun Maverick. The film's hypersonic jet, designed with help from Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, looked so real it fooled even foreign intelligence. The Dark Star was based on real aerospace concepts, blurring the line between fiction and reality. In the movie, the jet is piloted by Tom Cruise's character, but the real SR-72 is unmanned. The film's Mach 10 speed is Hollywood exaggeration. The real SR-72 aims for Mach 5 Plus. Still, the movie fueled public fascination and speculation about hypersonic flight. The Dark Star became a symbol of what might be possible. 
Now, with the SR-72 confirmed, the legend feels real. Sometimes, science fiction is closer to the truth than we think. The Dark Star myth helped prepare the world for the SR-72's reality. The future has arrived. The SR-72's confirmation marks the dawn of a new age in aviation. Practical, reusable hypersonic flight is now a reality. The technology behind the SR-72, advanced materials, revolutionary engines, will shape the future far beyond the military. Imagine commercial flights crossing oceans in hours or space planes launching from runways. The SR-72 is a stepping stone to routine access to space and global connectivity. For now, its impact is clearest in national security, redefining surveillance and rapid response. It ensures the U.S. maintains a technological lead in an uncertain world. The SR-72 is a powerful deterrent, holding any target at risk and gathering intelligence with near impunity. It's a statement of American commitment to innovation and security. As we witness this moment, the legend of the hypersonic spy plane becomes reality. The SR-72 inspires a new generation of dreamers and engineers, the sky is no longer the limit. The SR-72 is leading us into a faster, more connected future.